next variety of DFA design problem that is string length modulo k problems. So, first problem. So, design a DFA for real equals to W such that length of W mod 3 is equal to 0 where W belongs to 0, 1. So, again here mod 3. So, therefore, the set of states will be Q0, Q1, Q2 as in the previous exercises. Since the remainder has to be 0, Q0 itself is the start state. So, initially empty string, it is a length uh, 0, so the string uh, empty string is accepted. If uh, here, since the alphabet is 0, 1, so whether it is 0 or 1, one single character will take the length of the machine, length of the string to be 1, so the machine should go to the state Q1 representing the currently the length of the string is 1. So, it is either 0 or 1. Next, after either for one first symbol which is 0 or 1, if the next symbol is either 0 or 1, the length becomes 2. So, the string should uh, take the machine from start state to the state Q2. So, it could begin either 0 or 1. Next, if the next alphabet, that is a third symbol, if it is either 0 or 1, the length becomes 3. And the machine should take the, it should reach the state Q0 because modulo 3, the length, uh, if you do, it is 0. So, this is a required machine. So, here it is not the counting of zeros or 1s, it is the total length of the string must be multiple of 3. So, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 length of 3 they are accepted length 4 is not accepted length 5 is not accepted next here it is of same kind the length of the string modulo 5 not equal to 0 so again here you have 5 states 0 1 2 3 4 and since the condition is that that modulo length is not equal to 0 so it means q1 q2 q3 q4 will be the final state and the construction is uh, similar to the previous problem next is here you can observe w such that number of a's of w is odd so here it is counting on only a's the length of uh, number of b's is not required so odd means the number of a's if you do modulo 2 the remainder should be 0 so, you will be having just two states Q0 and Q1. And since it is odd, Q1 will become the final state. If it is even, Q0 becomes the final state. Since it is odd, Q0 becomes the final state. So, now here only on A, the length, uh, A length, we have the condition. So, if it is Q0, then the length is uh, 0. Then if you have first A, it means you have the length of A is odd. So, it goes to the state Q1. So, on only A. If one more A is appearing, it means the length of this number of A's is even. So, it goes back to the state Q0. So, now on B's for both Q0 and Q1, because I do not... Uh, require the count of b's so you put a self loop so this is the required machine so count of b is not required to be checked next here number of a's is odd and number of b's is divisible by 3 so, number of A's is odd means number of A's mod 2 is equal to 1 and number of B's mod 3 is divisible by 3. That means mod 3 is 0. So, here you start with Q0. First, both A's and B's are a's and b's mod count are 0, 0. So, first represent a's modulo 2 
and the second index represent B's modulo 3. So if first A appears, then if first A appears, then it goes to the state Q1 0. If one more A appears, then A's modulo will be 0 and B is also 0. Now, from Q00, if first B appears, A's count will not change. It remains the same modulo 2. Only the B's the reminder modulo 3 is 1. If one more B appears, then Q0, 2, Now, if you are in state Q01, it means you have B reminder, B gives 1 and A gives 0. So, if you find again here in this state A, it means both A count and B count will be 1, 1 when you do modulo 2 for A's and modulo 3 for B's. Next, from Q10, if you get B, so B's count will change to 1, A count will remain same, which is 1. Now, for Q02, if you find again B, so B count will become 3, 3 modulo 3 is 0, so you go back to the start state. So, this is on B. If you encounter A in Q02, then this first index changes to Q1 and second index will remain the same. Next for Q11, if you encounter B, the counter of to that is a second will change from 1 to 2 on B. If you encounter A, it should go back to the state Q01. Now from Q12, if you encounter one more A, it should go back to the state Q02 here on A. So, for every state, you had two transitions. So, for Q0, A, B, Q0, 1, A, B, Q0, 2, B, A. For every state, you had two outgoing edges. So, now identifying the final state here is, here it is odd. So, number of A count should be odd. So, it means the first index should be 1 and number of B's is divisible by 3. So, the second index must be 0. So, it is 1, 0 is the final state. 1, 0. So, they can change the condition even and not divisible by so all that things the same transition diagram but only the final states will vary depending on this condition. So here also you can consider two indexes first index with the A's mod 5 and second index with B mod 3 and write the same way as we have drawn and uh, the based on the condition you have to identify the state uh, final state here based on this condition that's all so these are some additional exercises which you could try on your own
Thank you.